Hello everyone. I'm coming to you today to show you the new crochet items I have been working on or I have completed or what's actually on my hook. Um, I think I only have two things on the hook, but um, I wanted to show you what I've been doing. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been here. What have I been up to? Doctors. BS with that. Um, going out with the kids. Love that. Um, trying to get me a hubby out. Me and hubby just have two different lives. Like, I don't, I guess if I fish and hunting and, you know, that type thing, me and her would. I mean, we used to go hiking when we was, like, younger and, you know, I wouldn't say more in love because we do love each other, but it's not. <laughs> but it's like, I don't know, we got to find something we can do together because we don't do nothing together. We even eat at certain times, and then even when we go out to eat, it's just, I don't know. I need to go with the kids and stuff. I don't really do too much with him. Like, we need to do something. Maybe we'll go away or something. Maybe this year when I go to Vegas, he'll go. But anyway, and anyhow, um, I haven't been doing anything. Um, nothing's new with the, the kidney thing, and nothing's new with... Really, the renovation of the house. I'm still waiting on a lot of things to get done, and hubby's like grabbing grab his feet about. Now we do do that together, but um, we have to do more. I don't know. We have to do more. But anyway, um, I mean, we actually ate dinner yesterday for the first time together, and that was yesterday. And today we probably would have did it, but I went out with the kids and we ate and everything. So anyway. Um, but he only eats one time a day, so you have to catch him when he when he eats. If he eats in the afternoon, he won't eat nothing else. He's one time a day. That's me too. You know, I don't know how. No, he doesn't. AJ eats all day. Um, um, right. Yes, she is. I'm. Yes, you eat one time, but this don't stop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, let's go on and um, let me see what else. Um, I think that's all, and I guess I'll fill you in with different things as we go on. Do I have a lot to show y'all? Well, mm, pretty I'm much a little I'm bit. A little something, something, something. A little secret, something, something. You don't All right. Um, I had got, this is the first time I used this yarn. And this was the Silky Twist um, by Lion. By Lion Brand um, yarn. First time I ever used the Silky Twist. But this is what I came up with. Um, and this is the scarf. It actually matches what I have on. Um, and can you see the twists like the way they are? The twist. It looks like really, really lumpy. lumpy. But it's very, it's a heavy, It's this scarf is heavy compared to, you know, other scarves. And it's also, um, it's very soft. Uh, this is the matching slouchy beanie slouchy hat whoa that i made with it and that's really lumpy and twisty and but i like the way it turned out can't say i didn't um i don't um i don't know see the little frizzy on it i don't know if anybody would like that i guess i don't know we'll see um We'll see. I like the color though. I really like the color. But see how the little points, like different things, stick up? <laughs> like, can you? Oh, wait a minute. Ugh, can't see it. Can't see it. Like it's on this side. Like all the little peaks and. Peaks. You know. Oh, well, I'll whatever. Be quiet. I'll be quiet. So, but that's that set. So it's a scarf set and a. A scarf and a hat. And I made that. For the first time out of the yarn. Um, I like the hat. I tried to make a beanie with it. And it's just, I don't know, it just looked it funny. And I guess you, in certain ways you could use this as some kind of beanie hat or something. Um, I have not really tried it on. Um, I had it on the mannequin. It looked it okay. I took some pictures and put it on Facebook. But I'm just kind of up in the air about it. And, and you know, tell me what y'all think. Or have y'all used the yarn? Um, and I wonder how will it wash up? It says, um, hmm, did I tear that part off? 
Wait a minute. It says, uh, uh, it says machine washable and dryable. So, I don't know. We'll see. So, that was one of the sets I made. And, um, I made this maybe a couple days ago. Um, it didn't take me long to make. It, come, it like really comes up fast, works up fast. Um, but just tell me what y'all think. Um, I love the color though, because I like purple. Purple is my favorite color. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, I go to the cow I made. I think this is a cow. In a hat. No, it's a cow. It's a scarf cow, like. Scarf. <laughs> and it has flowers on it. Flowers. I put three flowers on it. And basically, you can wear it like that and wrap it around. I'm not going to wrap it around completely. I don't really like trying on people stuff when I know I'm going to sell. But anyway, it's pictures of this on Facebook, too. This is done in. What was this done in? Um, uh, Red Heart Love. This was done in the red. And this is uh, Super Saver Red uh, Gray. And that's how that turned out. And I put the three flowers on there. Uh, and um, this is the matching hat to go with it. And I made this and I was really... Um, making this due to um due to um valentine's day so so that would be cute for valentine's day valentine's day so hopefully that will be sold <laughs> uh, again that's on my facebook page and i have to i'll put that link down uh right uh, right there <laughs> and um, tell you where you can look at to see more pictures of it with the mannequin wearing it. Um, the next thing I never made um, uh, dishcloths or washcloths or anything like that. But um, what was having? Um, AC Moore was having a sale for skeins of. Hmm, what was it? Which was it? It was sugar and sugar and cream. I never used this yarn before either. I think I've seen every crocheter use it, but me it was the first time I I bought it. And I made washcloths. And first it was real rough, and I said, "Oh my God, I guess we can use these on pots or make dishcloths or whatever." But the other day I took a bath with this. Let me tell you, soft, soft, soft. It just turns really, really soft. So I made this color and I made them all different sizes. So like these is like a face rag and then I made a uh, a dish a face rag and um um a washcloth and sizes like that. So cuz you see this size is bigger than that one. So I made these type colors, these type colors. And I really had fun with it. And I made a bunch of them. Um, I'm not going to show you each individual because they all the same. Um, what else did I do? Um, okay. The next set. Um, I'm trying to throw in things in between. I don't want to bore y'all out. Um, this is a scarf I did made. And to me, I always say this is all basic scarves. Just basic stuff. Basic. Only thing that made this scarf a little bit different is it's long. It's very long. And um, yeah, but I think I did a great job. It's neat. <laughs> you know, who's that? Go through say, "Oh my God, I missed a loop or I missed something." Um, this is the hat with the pretty flower to go with it, and that's another set I need. And I always. I don't know, unless this scarf really speaks for itself. I like to put tassels or pom-poms on it. Um, 
For some reason, I've been having trouble making pom poms. I mean, I actually can make one or make them, but it's just like I have trouble making. I'm not satisfied with the ones I'm making. Um, let me see. The next item I have is this cow scarf, <clears throat> and this is how it looks. Oh. And um, again, up, guys. for Valentine's Day, you can wear it like that. I don't really know about the uh, the 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 that. I don't know. I don't know how that looks, but it looks great as a you know a scarf. Or you can wear it like over your shoulder some and stuff like that. See, so. Uh, I got this, oh my god, I got this off of, um, Ravelry, I don't know who, who I got it by, uh, I think I wrote it down, and I'm going to try to put it in the description box, um, I'm going to probably try to put it in the description box when I upload this video, but, um, it was basically very, very easy pattern to do. Um, it, it was easy. Took a little bit of time, um, but once you got the hang of it, it turned out really, really good. <clears throat> so that was the other thing I made. Um, and I'm making like two items a day. Some of the stuff I have is already what I've made and already out the door. So, like, I always have two or three things on my hook at a time if I could. Um this besides besides the um the the scar of the cow I just showed you I think that's basically the only one so far I had a pattern I went by a pattern. Well I just went by the stitch basically and then I just did my own uh creation with the stitch. Um and this is a little beanie, like for a toddler. Toddler. And here's is the matching skirt. So there it is. Um, I might make um. This is with the mall stitch, which I learned by one virtuous woman. Thank you, girl. Um. <clears throat> And I'm thinking about probably adding a flower to the skirt, maybe around here. Maybe. Because um, it seems like, I don't know, I just like a, more of a, more to it. So, um, somebody, I was thinking about diaper cover, but then I'm like, smaller, I don't know. Because, like, my, I have a, my grandbaby's going really to turn two in a couple days. And um, she's almost potty trained. So, but then you got some kids who's a little later. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, the next item is gonna be. Um, I think this is this a scarf. Yeah, this is this a scarf. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Um, but that's all that is. I'm debating about doing um an expo. For my girlfriend, um, Heather Sims, um, that, uh, so if I do, um, I just made that up in case, you know, I, this would be something extra. Um, I think I have, I have, uh, four or five more things to show y'all. Uh, I've Zeke. I am working, girl. I'm not. I have not forgot the um, end of the year uh, Afghan blanket. Uh, these are all the. Um, <laughs> these are all the the squares I have been making, and they're like this and. Uh, let me see. 
Some of them are like this, like this, and this. So some of them have flowers with all different kind of colors. And yeah. So and then I got another bag full of more. These are just the ones like I do when I just pile them up on my table. So I think I have almost 30 of them so far. Um, do I know how big I'm going? No. I might finish this next year because I'm going to keep on adding squares, adding squares. And before I'm old and gray, I think I will put them together. So that's where I'm at with that. Okay. The next item is, if you've seen my Facebook page, either one. Um, and that's at, uh, Melinda Twist and Turns at Melinda Twist and Turns Crochet on Facebook or Melinda Cooper on Facebook. Um, so this is the other thing I made. And <clears throat> is this goes like that. I don't know how much you can see. And then I put these two. On to hold it closed, and that's how the back is. So <clears throat> that's how this is. And let me tell you, it's basically again. Here we go. Is this a long triangle? A long triangle. So. I love triangles because you can make so much. You can make so much stuff with it. Um, I'm ordering a bunch of um, crochet books also, and with this set, sorry, um, I'm all over the place. Um, with this set comes this hat. So with some brown boots, Bitch. girl. Um, next item. Yeah, I ordered some cro crochet books. Um, if you want cheap crochet books, go to um, eBay. I don't know how to get to it on your own, but um, go to eBay, scan down to the bottom of the page. The bottom of the page says half.com. You might be familiar with it. I don't know. I never just punched in half.com and went to it. I always go through eBay because I be always on eBay, so and then I just scan down. Um, but if you go on there and just push in crochet books, just go click on books and then you push in search for crochet. Um, oh my gosh, they have books for 75 cents. They have books for, no, I mean, they have books for like $60, but no, but they have, they have, um, so many books sold like cheap, under $5. And then I think you pay like $3 or something for chipping and handling. So, I mean, I think it's really, really good. So, I'm ordering maybe about five or six of them. Um, and I hopefully will do a review on, on them um, when I get them. Um, there might be some books that y'all have already seen um, or heard of or even have. But, um, yeah. Because, I, I, you know, I'm looking for different things I could try. Um, it seems like when I'm stressed or something, I'm having a lot of problems reading patterns. I don't know why. And I know I could read them, but it's just like the terminology or something. But then I think sometimes it's the way people write them. Like, what are you saying? Like, you have to keep on going over it. Um, so I'm hoping I can read most of them and understand them. Um, this is another set, and I got this yarn and this yarn. And this oh my yarn, gosh. This yarn and this yarn. I think I lost the. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. This is Bernadette. Bern 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 hey, Mosaic. Okay. Liked the this. I really did like this. I like the way it changes color. And this is one of the basic scarves I made. And it's a short scarf. Because I just wanted this to go right under tie and maybe hang down just a little bit. And this is how this is. Didn't make it big. It's light. Um, 
I don't know. It's um greens and I guess there's greens and purples and like blacks. Yeah, but real pretty. And this is the beanie. It's a simple beanie I made for it to go with the scarf. I didn't make um flowers or anything. Because I think the head's colors speak for themselves. So I didn't um, want to do too much. And um, this scarf, this scarf, and two of the, the green scarf, and a plain, oh, me, plain red and gray scarf is all V stitch. Um, yeah, they're all V-stitches. Um, yeah, but I really like the way that, um, turned out. Um, I think I'm going to do something in a bag in this. Like some kind of pocketbook for summertime. If I can find some more of this, um, and maybe double it and make a bag and line it. Okay, uh, what's next? Whew. This is next. I got this pattern off of uh, Ravelry also. Um, it's this jacket. and But um, I changed it a little bit. I didn't put the ruffles on the side. And I did add uh, two buttons. And the button is shimmer. And the ruffle collar. I did myself. So this is the jacket I made. Um, I just thought it was cute. Um, I just thought it was cute, so I didn't really make it for anybody in particular. So, but I thought that turned out really, really well. Um, and I had made these before, and I had put the that furry yarn. What's the name? It's really I don't remember what's the name of it. But it's the fur yarn. I put it around the collar, the and um, I know. The fur. And then I made a headband with the fur around it too. It's um, furry. I know, AJ. I don't know what the name of it is. I don't know if y'all. This is. Um, Everybody forgets sometimes. I don't know if I showed y'all this. This is a really big cow, long scarf. Oh. Well, it goes around and around and around and around. <laughs> um. If I can get it right. If I can get it right. Mm. And that's how this is. That's how, how that is. See? And I put, if you can see it, it's ribbed going around. Just around the edges. It's not ribbed on the other side, but this is, it shows you this is the front. By red. Um. I made that. Uh, AJ, can you pass me that skirt in here? Skirt? Skirt? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Mm. I know. Sleepy? I am so sleepy. Oh, y'all, let me tell you. I have I sleep two hours a night. Oh. I don't know what's going on, but I've been hospitalized a couple times for sleep deprivation where you just don't sleep. So I hope they don't put me in the hospital for it. But I just do not sleep. Um, yes, it is stress related. But it's also, um, how can I say, hereditary. Um, my, like my dad doesn't sleep. Um, my kids really don't sleep. Not like we should. And um, I want to tell y'all, like, not sleeping right causes a lot of health problems and stuff. Um... I hated taking the Ambien. I just don't like narcotics, period. Like the way they make you feel. Like not yourself. But um, I'm going to have to take something because I, I'm just not sleeping. Um, I'm watching, you know, I'm listening to like when the, like my older sons come over or, you know, or AJ or hubby. I can just hear them sleep, but I can't sleep. Um, and it's sad. It's so sad. You know, um, and I was little, I, I could not sleep like that. And then when I was like a teenager, and then when I first became a mom, um, I couldn't sleep. So um, it's really bad, and I don't sleep. Um, 
Like if a car goes down the street and I hear it on ambulance, I wake up and I be up, like up, up, wired. Like I didn't drink coffee or something. Um, so, I don't know. You know, I didn't hear people tell me, give me so many suggestions of how to sleep and, you know, with the TV off and all of that. None of that works. None, none, none really doesn't work. It may put me to sleep, but I will not sleep long. I may sleep 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then I'm up. Um, the nap is the worst because your body has to shut down to reboot. And if it's not rebooting, then it's not doing your organs no good. Um, so, yeah. So that's why I'm yarning. It's just like, I yarn all the time, but I'm not sleeping. So, <clears throat> anyway. Anyway, and that makes you a little cuckoo in the head when you don't get enough sleep also. Let me tell you. You get cranky. Not just cranky. You just, you can't think. Your process of thinking is this, you know, you know really, are. really not. Not she sure. Sleep, you know, she snap one like crazy. And it's not a foundation that you really want to um, huh, talk to daddy and tell him I'm doing a video. Um, Hello. The next thing I wanted to show y'all is. Um, Hello. And this is all done in the mall Hello. stitch right here. And this is a skirt Hello. I made for myself. Um, it is a plus oh, size. Uh, it is a plus size. Um, skirt and um i love it i love it i love the way it turned out um i'm thinking about lining it but then again i just going to think i'm just going to get a slip and put up underneath of it and wear it like that it's very form fitting um so i really like this let me show you again I really, really like this. Really yes, 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 yes. She does. Oh, I got it upside down. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I really, really, really like it. She uh, like yes, it. I do. Look at that stitching. Oh my gosh. She just loved it. That mall stitch hits on something. Yes. So, and I just made a simple headband to go with it. And the headband is only short like that because I had it on Miss Sassy when I took the pictures for Facebook. Miss Sassy. Yeah. So, oh, I can't wait. And I got high, high, high boots. But brown. Mm. It's going to pop. Pop it up. What is on my hook? Hook. Let me see what's on my hook. What's on my hook is. Oh, AJ, can you pass me my, my um, orange bag from over there? No. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Where is it? Um, Where is it? Right in front of you. The orange bag, yeah. Hut, hut. Okay, I showed y'all this bag before, but I didn't show y'all that I actually put in If I showed y'all this before, y'all know. Mm, yeah, it's it's here. Yeah. So I hope I didn't. And if I did, this act like you ain't seen it before. Be like, oh, that's so cute. Um, this is the bag, but I didn't have buttons on it before when I showed y'all. So it's actually just been sitting there, sitting there, sitting there like, am I ever going to get used? And that's the bag. I like this bag. And I found this, I just decided, these are not the buttons I'm really, really liking, but yeah. And this is done in my waffle stitch when I was going waffle crazy. Waffles. And, um... I line this. It's not with the lining I really would have liked, but when I got a crochet, I just try to throw everything. I want to make some. I want to make something. Even if I just do it just to get an idea of what I would make if I really, you know, wanted to. Um, I'm trying to get the buttons open so I can show y'all the inside of it. Um. Yeah, so, um, and this is what I had lined it with. So it's like see through lining. And it has sparkles on it. But I really like the way it turned out. Okay. So hopefully, and I was thinking about the bag going with the cow. Never know. Might be a seller. Seller. Um, now, again, back to what we're doing with uh, what's on the book. I would try to try this on, but this is for my daughter. And I'm like Shaq compared to her because she's very, very small. Ouch. 
Um, but this is the sweater. Here's her arms. And this is the back of it. And guess what? I have not a stitch left in yarn for the, any of this. So, <laughs> this is where we are at. So, <laughs> we have to take the sweater to Michael's or AC Moore. And, yeah, no. Try to pick out the colors. And that may not work. I don't know. Oh, the no. last item, I know I'm forgetting something, but I don't know what it is. Um, as long as I showed y'all the skirt, because I really, really liked this skirt. And I think Facebook, my Facebook pictures was this horrible. And they didn't do it justice. Um, but I like it. I really did like it. Um, really do like it. Um, I made an attempt at making, um, OVW, one versus woman's, um, earrings. I told y'all before, like, I'm not really good with earrings. Um, after the fact, I did go buy... A bunch of these, um, whoa, a bunch of these, um, things of, to make earrings. But I haven't did anything as of yet. I might do that tonight, just make earrings. My son puts the little post things on. I don't know if I don't have the patience or I'm just not in the jewelry. Like, I'm in the jewelry, don't get me wrong. I'm, I mean, I got a room full of jewelry, but making it, I don't know if I'm into that. I don't know. Um, I'm into charm bracelets, but only wearing them, not making them. So, anyway. So, he comes over and he does, he's my oldest son, he's 25. So, I don't know if he wants me to tell, like, my makes my mom's earrings for me, but, yeah, he puts the pieces on. But, we, you know, you gotta roll with your creativity side. So, ain't nothing wrong with that. Like I told my sons, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with cooking, watching dishes. You know, be waiting for no girl to do that for you. Hmm, because they like your mama, you might not get it done. Anyway. <laughs> Let me tell you what I have made with earrings. And she did, oh God, she did a great video. And she did a great, that, the Pressy the Wedges ones, they was the easiest ones for me to make. So I just kept making them. My size never turned down her size. My Mine is like, oh my God. My earrings are so much bigger than hers. <laughs> I think I'm just a looser. You know, and I look at our hands, like maybe my hands are bigger than hers. So I don't know. It's just, it just turned out so much. And I swear I was using the same um, a hook size. But we'll see. But I like them because I like my ears. I mean, my ears to hang down. Yeah, okay. I like my earrings to hang down. So these are the ones I made. I really like the way these turned out. And they got the little glitter glitter in it. Then um, I made these. And one looks bigger than the other, is it? I guess not. I made these. And then I made these. And that's, oh, that will go with what I got home, won't it? What? See? I don't even make good. I know, this is a purple, purple. Purple. And I made like one one. one of these. And I forget the video she made, <laughs> but that don't, I don't know. My daughter said, oh, it looks nice. I don't know. It looks, I don't know. Not ish. Not you. Mm -hmm. But I made that one also. So, I think that is all today I have to show y'all. Yeah, so that's all, folks. That's all. Um, I'm gonna tell you another thing was good to do too. Take all your old jewelry and just take it apart. It's a lot of old jewelry. Wow, well, I had bead works, but it's a lot of jewelry I have right here, and I just took it apart and I put it in the jar. I love these jars. I think I did a video already telling y'all I love these jars. Um. I love, love, love. Love it. You go one of my button jars. and These are my hooks. And these is for jewelry and stuff like that. I keep all my, um, I keep all my other hooks and stuff in there. And my highlighter in case I start reading. Uh, yeah, but, um, I don't know what happened. Oh, 
One moment, y'all. If this video does not save, oh gosh, I'll be so mad. Anyway, I got it plugged up. I thought it was going to go dead. All right, well, I hope everybody's having a great, great day. And I'm going to keep, keep crocheting, and I hope you keep crocheting. Um, I miss all of y'all. I miss being doing the videos. I have to do more. I don't know why. I just been in a funk. But um, not with crocheting, though. This is recording and stuff, and I don't know. Anyway, um, Susie Q's, you did a great job on that Ninja Turtle. Oh my god, Don Don looked just so cute. I wish my babies was that small sometime. 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 But they is so cute, though. I mean, he is so cute. And that Ninja Turtle, and then the moves. Oh my god, Bruce Lee, you know, watch out. I'll tell you. Um, let me see, what else? Uh,. Mm. Mm hmm. I don't know who else I need to mention. Um. Z, I'm working. I'm working. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna keep on doing them until I don't. I don't know when. Until I have a king size bed thing. Cause I got a bunch of throws. I just, you know. So we'll see how it turned out. It's going to be multicolored. I know that. That's that's one thing I know for definite. All right. Love all y'all. Be peaceful. And keep crocheting. Bye. AJ says bye.